welcome to Gold's Garage today. Uh, this is going to be a little different kind of video. I'm standing in front of my Texaco Star, probably one of the most recognizable, popular, iconic pieces of garage art in, in, in the nation or in the continent. Almost every car guy rec will recognize this and uh, half of them will have one in their garage. So I'm going to talk about it a little bit because it's kind of personal and it's got special meaning for me because uh, I became a, had a passion for cars from when I was six years old and my dream was to work on cars. So when I was 15 years old, I applied in the Sioux Star for an admin Sioux Star for a service station attendant and I got a call, I sent a, sent a reply in, got a call for an interview, walked three miles to Joe and Eric's Texaco on the corner of Second Line of John Street in Sioux St. Marie and my interview was in the front seat of a Volkswagen. And Joe Hooper offered me 75 cents an hour to start and uh, I jumped at it. I would have taken it for 50 cents an hour. So that was the beginning. I was 15 years old in grade 10 and I worked there every weekend and every evening until I graduated college in 2000, or 1970. So the point of this video is, one of the main points is to recognize what these guys did for me and the other one is to, to say if you're in my age group, or, or, or you're not in my age group, if you have a mentor that will take you under their, uh, like they did to me, take advantage of it and capitalize on it. These guys trusted me, they took time to train me and show me how to do things. Uh, by the time I was 16, uh, I was doing brake jobs and tune-ups. Uh, at the age of 15, I allowed me to buy my first car, which is a 1955 Ford. Believe it or not, 55 Ford, shouldn't say that. Uh, V8 standard two door. So that was the three big things you had to have for your first car. It had to be V8, it had to be a standard, and two door. So that was my first car. I was 15, of course I drove it, and I got caught driving without a license, and the fine was about two weeks of my pay, pay for it. But I, I didn't mind, I did it anyways. So uh, the model back then was gas stations, Texaco gas stations. Uh, where the standard and the model was no one put gas in their own car. Young guys might not even remember that or understand that. You drove up to a gas station, the attendant ran out, uh, asked you how much gas you wanted, put it in your car, checked your oil, washed your windshield, uh, took your change, brought the money back out and you're on your way, you never got out of the car. That was the model and most gas stations, there was Texaco, SO, uh, BP, Fina and a bunch of others at the time and um, they all had two-car garage that did repairs and they sold gas. That was the model. Nowadays if you go to Napa or something they don't sell gas, they just fix cars. So that was the model back then and, and I was lucky enough to work there and I just it launched not just my career but my life actually. And I'm so grateful to those guys for what they did to me. And my final message is once again, if you have a mentor like this that takes you under your and, and trust you and, and engages in you and invests in you, uh, take advantage of it. You're real lucky to have that as I was. So um, I wanted to cover that off. It is kind of personal. It's not a how-to video, uh, but I hope you find it a little bit interesting. And, uh, and thank you for watching Gold's Garage.